you guys. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. What? What? I just woke up an hour late. I was supposed to wake up at 7.30, but then I shut my alarm off and slept till 8.30. Anyway, last night I tweeted a short video of me singing um, for the karaoke. Uh, go follow me, it's Colby Life. And I put, had a blast night, found out that at Gil McKinney is so awesome, and so is at The Real Beverly and at One Michael Coleman. Thanks for a great night. And right after I tweeted it, Michael Coleman favorited the tweet or liked the tweet. He replied, you killed it brother, can't wait to your album. <laughs> like, what? And then Beverly Elliot, I woke up too, and she said, you killed it. Like, <laughs> um, someone who's in the audience said you sang great on stage. Anyway, since I only have 30 minutes till the next thing, I wanna go get some food and coffee. White chocolate mocha, cheese Danish. I just went to the Q&A with Gail McKinney, the nicest person I've ever met, Michael Coleman, who's also the nicest person I've ever met, and then Lee Ehrenberg, who's also really cool. And I went in line for a question because I was like, I want to ask a question. I'm going to do it. So I went up there. I finally got up to go ask my question. <laughs> Gil turns to me and he goes, hey, Colby. <laughs> just like. Just like we've known each other forever. And he's like, this guy sang at karaoke last night and he was amazing. And the whole audience just started clapping and I was like, oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then um, Michael Coleman was like, he's so talented. He's like, he did a great job. And I was like, oh, what, is, what is happening? And then I asked my question and I said, for other people who are in the audience who also love to act, do you have any advice or tips on how they can continue to grow and keep growing and one day be as successful as you are. And they all gave me advice. They gave me really good advice. I wish I would have been able to record it. I was gonna record the audio on my phone, but I was already out there and I couldn't like reach in my pocket and do it. But it's just the memory that counts. Like it's unbelievable that they said, like they talked for a long time and gave me such good advice. It was like, just, it's like what? And then while I was leaving, Gil, he goes, well, you've obviously got the talent for it. You definitely proved that last night at the karaoke. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I love this lighting. And then I just got my autograph with Colin O'Donohue. And as I was going up, there's a table and there's like two volunteers there and then Colin. And they would like, like you get a sticky note and you put on your thing with your name on it so that they can personalize the autograph. And the girl who like took my picture to like check my name off, she looks me in the eyes and she goes, you do realize you became like an overnight sensation here last night, don't you? And I was like, no, I, I, I just can't believe any of this just happened. That's not even, okay. Also, <laughs> on Twitter, I was sitting in the thing watching the panel uh, duo with Hook and Regina, which was awesome. And uh, I noticed the most amazing thing. On that tweet that Michael Coleman and Beverly Elliott replied to and, and liked, I'm sitting there and I get a notification. I get a notification from Gil McKinney. And he replied and said, beautiful moment, great boys, keep it up and put this photo. He was taking photos of me on the ground and he edited this photo that he took of me and tweeted me it. 
And then I responded, and he liked it. I, I, I don't even know what to think. And right now, I'm going to go down. So right now is Q&A with Keegan Connor Tracy, who's a blue fairy, and Karen David, which is Princess Jasmine. Then there's a costume contest, but I don't think I'm gonna go do that. At 105 is my photo op with Hook and Regina, and I'm so excited. I just farted. It's also noon. That's a tough one. Okay, it would have to be, I guess, okay. It would be episode, uh, what was it, 15? The, the Agrabah where, um, I can go on this adventure with um, Ariel. It happened, everything happened in that episode. <laughs> I think for me it would be the one where I finally got to be big in uh, this last season and Ginny and I were in the forest with the woodcutter and I got to have the axe and like, I was really bad axe. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if you've ever had any crazy uh, costume malfunctions because I know you have some. <laughs> <laughs> um, once, I haven't. When I filmed um, Scorpion King, the journey of my role seems to, I'm either wearing leather or I'm wearing something that I can't eat in. And so this outfit again, it was this fabulous outfit when it was corset to the front, and it was tied up similarly like this. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna be careful now. We were out in Cape Town, and outside of Cape Town, filming the desert, and all of a sudden, I had no idea, it was very tight, and it snapped, and I basically flashed the whole crew, and my chicken fillets on top of that fell out. <laughs> and it was my co-star Michael Copon that literally stood in front of me and said, um, Karen, yes. look down, and I'm like, what? <laughs> All right, so I just got back from the Blue Fairy and Jasmine's q and I I didn't stay for the whole thing. Like, I went in and kind of saw the last 15 minutes, and uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to get my photo with Regina and Colin. So, with Jennifer leaving the show, what would, what do you think the storyline for Hook will look like? Look. Well, it'll look a lot like me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really give away anything, so I might know a few bits and pieces. <laughs> but I'm not going to edit. Oh my gosh, so um, I have an aunt who's an actress who I really admire and looked up to my whole life and still do. Um, so she had a hand in sort of inspiring me. She didn't really guide me towards anything except for she guided me towards, you know, learning my craft and, and making sure that I did all the homework before I went out there and try to be in the industry. Hello. Guys, it is currently 8.30 p.m. I have an hour before the concert, which I'm super pumped for right now. You know what? I am bet you bet I waited for, I bet I just spent three hours getting autographs. I swear I did. I just got four autographs. I did, exactly. Three hours I just spent waiting in line and getting autographs. I got autographs with Jasmine and on this same picture because I didn't feel like spending $7 on two more pictures and I thought it would be fine to get them all on this. It'd be kind of funny. I got the Blue Fairy's autograph, Jasmine's autograph, and Grumpy's autograph. And Grumpy's awesome. He, at the Q&A, he said he remembered me from the question I asked about acting and he spent so much time talking to individuals and he was like, I think you have a shot. You've got to keep going. You've got to have confidence and you've got to stay extremely humble. And you've got to keep doing classes and learning and learning and learning and learning and learning. He said that the guys remembered me and if they remembered me, that means I'm talented because he said that they wouldn't remember me if I wasn't talented. And I was like, that means so much for coming from you. Like, oh my gosh, he was so nice. The Blue Fairy was the first one and she put, where's Blue? Because it's Jasmine. And then Jasmine put, like laughed and put hashtag keep it shady yo. And then put King Colby and sign and then Grumpy just put. I really, I don't know what that says. 
and then Grumpy signed it. Let's just say that. Jasmine was awesome because she already had signed so many autographs and she had so much energy, was so funny, was just loving it. And then so was the Blue Fairy. She was still loving it. And then Regina, my queen side of this. The, she had so many autographs, like more than anyone. It was taking forever. So she was tired and I don't blame her, but it was awesome. Also, this is the sunset right now. It's beautiful. I just got a really cool picture with my camera of me sitting here, like with my feet up, looking out the window by myself. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram. Hope you see my shameless promo if you want to see that. Yay, and then I didn't have time to pick up my picture because I didn't realize the autographs would take that long. I hope I can get it tomorrow or else I'm gonna have to download it and print it myself. I'm going to now cherish all of my autographs. The floor below the lobby level, I'm going down to check. Yes. I don't think she realized I sent that an hour ago. Woo! Having an amazing time. Oh. Okay. Okay. 